I, um, I have to, uh, uh I wrote, just wrote this song, and, um, um, I, I, it wouldn't have been written without, uh, imbibing in caffeine today. It just wouldn't have been, it would have been impossible. Wish I'm going to swear off from now on, because it interferes with, uh, everything else in my life. Uh, so, you probably very the stuff that uh, will be... As free from, um, uh, yes, I got it in. Um, as, uh, some might say, swearing my, my way into it's, uh, the Hall of Fame heaven, as some seem to do for the hippies, and that is a, is concurrent with the other thing. One of those people uh, believed in is that other lady uh, who said some beautiful things in, a, in a, a video I watched the other day. So uh, the, the woman is a beautiful person for the things that she said is um, uh, Alicia Keys and the man is Ian Anderson and Jethro Tull who have never been, uh, uh, as far as I know, mentioned in the Hall of Fame because of, it seems to me, the um, total rejection of drug use and also a form of all-inclusive um, forgiveness and compassion that only one other man preached. And that man, um, I didn't reject them, but some of the songs seem to reject the, uh, the um, corporate, uh, the, uh, not the corporate, but the um, commercialization into something else of what the purity of what is. I don't know if I got that right, but that's so I went to 24, but this I wouldn't have wrote without. Uh, that's the problem for me because I'm not going to drink coffee, I hope, after today. So, 24 miles from the Broad Highway. He was 24 miles from the Broad Highway, 23 minutes for the first light of day. Both day and that were a double-edged sword. The first drew blood from the second sunk vein. Neither of the two would judge or abstain nor forsake to afford, neither light nor dark define each one as same. Each was predicate, precursor, and subject quite plain. So put the mirror of his arts right before your face, because there ain't not another way out of this place. The criminal eyes, the hind sunrises bars, the jailer himself as narcissist returned from war, wearing shoe polished clothes over Caliban skies, as if he were born to a midnight noon. In the caravan tent, not a minute too soon, the mod of the lambs of winter's increase, asleep with Jonah in the belly of the beast, gnawing for oppression, drought as flood. Faith is a pair of boots, calling love, the betrayer of doubt, as another man's prince in your own patch of mud. There is no hole where the fox can hide. It ain't, it ain't a lock, the door called pride, returned by a prototype to prodigal father. The first and last minute of each passing hour. Since I got back from my last day at the um, at the at the places of of checking doorknobs and um, uh, no usage of cell phones. Mm, profound spaces. It's, it doesn't really matter if you're um, claustrophobic, it's, uh, but it, it matters if you you uh, develop a certain type of medication to reduce restlessness. You're, you're in danger. <laughs> Playing this song so constantly for the last few days, I, I, I get 
swords and skies and and I represent so God bless peace, love and uh, um, and so I I will talk more uh, in between the before and after songs and Figure out why the beat generation this is, this is a group of the, the, the nine some people uh, do respect. And for the, that, I'm not saying anything against them. So they, they, they suffer. Because, um, the only way to um, greatness in. Um, poetic expression is not to swear your way into heaven and then on the other hand you might increase the potential for other forms of um, other forms of uh, what would you call um, prohibition to sneak like dust under a carpet of free expressions rug exactly being the other way around. Uh, uh, I don't know. I should think about that for a minute. But, uh, I don't know. It's, 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 uh, it turns into gratuitousness and that's a salt uh, like, a, like a stale seasoning monopolies that turn the freedom of expression into things like uh, mass killers just murdering uh, who uh, characterize the movies uh, almost like they're uh, mindless insects. Uh, so that wouldn't have come about if um, now that, I'm not comparing that in any way to anybody at all, except the thing that nobody, I'm not comparing that to any person at all, except uh, greed itself, uh, which, because it's like a, Gospels of Jesus left so many uh, uh, things unanswered that um, his followers choose to um, reject truths, truths like um, that can be expressed in uh, an R-rated movie. That could even benefit children and younger people like Lazy Siles and Slipperco that they could learn much more from in the 70s than they could from um, uh, something like James Bond movies where people are killed by tens of hundreds and there's no consequence at all for their actions. And there's, uh, they don't divide uh, swearing, sex, and violence. They, they, they take out the cause and the consequences. They don't judge by real morality what the rating should be. And then the, the uh, Christian pastors say, don't go to R-rated movies. Uh, but the R-rated movies aren't rated, or they weren't back then, I don't know. Now they say that there's a, there's a broader, a much broader the field of application that you can put on uh, rating squad completely haywire but um, um they uh, back then in the 70s it still wasn't the, these movies still were polluted by the by the um, the turning point that happened slowly 
where